So this is my mama right here. Hey y'all, what's up? Um, from the east side of Detroit, and I wanted to bring her on. We've been waiting to get one in and talk. So like, I got my granddad on here, and then what up, Stefan? I got my granddad on here, and then you know he opened up a good conversation. So I just really want to do this since I just hit a hundred thousand subscribers too. So shout out to y'all for helping me hit a hundred thousand subscribers. That's big. I I've been doing YouTube for over over like let me see ten plus years, and then I finally hit a hundred thousand subscribers. So don't give up. Let me know what y'all want to see. And I just thought this would have been a perfect interview for that 100,000 subscribers just so y'all can get to know me more. So like and make sure you subscribe. So what was it like for you growing up um, in general? What, like, just I want you to get started that way. What was it like you growing up in general? I mean, I had a good childhood, a lot of fun. It was more like... Nothing like how it is now. We had a swim mobile. Used to go to the recreation center. Like furthest when we was little, little kids, everything was kind of fun. I just, and I wish it was like that now, how we had it back then, because it was way more fun. Didn't have to worry about getting deducted nowhere. Yeah. Because I mean, we used to, as long as we home before the street lights come on, we was good and we was summer everywhere. Me and my sister used to catch the bus downtown at 10, Greek Town. What was Greek? Because Greek Town, wow, Greek Town in Detroit. Nah, it's fun. I like it. But was it was it still banging how it is now? I mean, yeah, it was. But we really didn't hang out downtown like that. We were more, when I got to the age to really hanging out, we would go like to Skateland on Warren mm. and stuff like that. Do how It was more house parties. Yeah. And stuff like that when but furthest my kid years, it was fun. I mean we I was summer everywhere a kid. And now that I'm older, like what was my mama thinking? Let me be all the way downtown catching the bus. It's a group of us catching on the bus doing all type of stuff. Yeah, it do seem like back then with the music, the house party scene, it seemed like people was community focused. Now it's just yeah. more internet, social media. Yeah, because you had your neighbors watching. I seen punkin such and such, or you had your neighbors being a parent, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh -huh. Now, you can't tell another kid nothing, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They'll be ready to fight you because you talking, telling them about their kid. So, it's nothing like how it was. Now, you still got the same people with some of the same morals, but half of them is gone or fiend out somewhere. Mm-hmm. Which means on drugs, like fiend out, right? So, all right, let's get into like, what was it like when you had me? What was like, what was that struggle like to be like, all right, I'm about to, I'm worried about this. And what was that process like? Dang, I'm worried about having a kid this early and all that. And then just being like, you know what, I'm going to do this, you know? Yeah, like when I found that, I didn't even like, your grandma really didn't even tell me about the rules of having sex and getting pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know I was pregnant. I'm literally still a kid. Mm -hmm. So I had to get surgery on my foot. And you know, they did the blood work or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they had called her and told her I was pregnant. I didn't even know I was pregnant. I was like probably three or four months when I even found Dang. out I was pregnant. Ooh. So your grandma asked me like, do you want to get an abortion and all that? I'm like, no. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But at the same time, I didn't know how to raise no kid or I didn't know. It was like you was my little brother. Yeah, yeah. Because you was much. 15, right? 15? Yeah. I got pregnant with you when I was 14 and had you at 15. Yeah. And then, so what was, like, what was that transition? Like, okay, now I'm, now I'm about to have a kid. Was it just like a lot of fear? Like, all right, boom. Like, what I'm going to do next and all that? And just panic or what? I mean... It's like like it's kind of different because at the at the one that you got to think I was still a kid and had a kid mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I had you, I mean I had your grandma. She was like, I know you still a kid and want to have your life, so I help you with them as much. But it's a lot of stuff in the environment I had you around that you really shouldn't have been around as a kid and as a parent should have had a kid you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. but i'm a kid myself yeah so it's just like me hanging around with 
one of my brother, uh, my brothers, or cut, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You and the reality really didn't hit that. And all that. Yeah, really didn't hit that. I had a kid. Like for the most part, I was, you know, being a mama. But for the most part, I still wanted to be out, yeah. you know, doing my thing. Still took care of you, to, you know, the best I can. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember one memory we was on the east side, and then you gave me to somebody I can't remember, and I was crying. I think it was my auntie. I'm crying, mom, and I'm screaming, just because like you had left, right? And I remember one of them early memories, like yeah, like I'm like, what's going on? But that's how kids be though. Yes, because you every time I leave the house. You'll be at the door screaming. I literally had to sneak out the house for you to. <laughs> so I knew you was cutting up when I left. Mm -hmm. But I had to literally sneak out the house because you would be at the door screaming, crying for me to come back. Yeah. So then we on the east side. I remember a little bit of that. I seen some of the videotapes and all that at my birthday parties and all that, the cassette tapes. It was cool. And then it was like. Fast forward, we moved to Dexter, right? You want to go to that part where we moved to Dexter or what? Well, when... Um, or you still want to say more about like what was it like on the east side? Because it was cool. I remember being yeah, over there. It was I cool mean, with everybody on the east side. Yeah, like when I um, had you or whatever. I mean, east side, we would stand on MacDougal grass shit. Mm-hmm. Straight. I don't know how much of my information I want to put on. No, you good. You ain't got to do all it. Yes. Right. So, um, I think I was like, uh, I had to be 18 when we moved to Dexter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that'll make me how old? Like what? Because I don't remember. You when was I'm... like, I'll say about five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I got four pictures of Yeah. Yeah. You was like four or five. We had a situation to where we had, because your grandma had moved to Milwaukee, and mm -hmm. we were still staying in the house on MacDougal. Where was Popeye? He was out of town, too? Yeah, he used to travel in and out of, out of town. So, uh, we moved over there, and we moved on Lawrence, and um, that had a house on Lawrence, so we had moved over there with down on Lawrence for a while. Because we had a situation on the east side where we had to you know, leave, we couldn't be over there no more, so... We moved on Lawrence at Dexter, the two family flat. I can remember when the um, Dexter boys on Lawrence used to ride past and they drop tops. You would be standing on the top porch doing your D's up. That's <laughs> you. Hey. You was little out there. So they, 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 and they used to, every time they see you or whatever, they'll come to you dollars, candies or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just cause. So throwing your you know D's up is like this. So they say some of it is like bloods, but Dexter, right? Yeah, so people Dexter. like D, or you could do, some people do it for Detroit, but where I'm from the hood, I'm from, we throw our D's up. It's for Dexter. So it's Dexter and Linwood. So you said I'll be outside like. On the top porch when they um, ride up the street. That's crazy because I remember when I first moved over there, 